All right, today we're gonna look at a older case RBX 562 round baited. Um, this was one of the, it's a, I think 2003 model that we have at the school here. Um, so just a few things to kind of highlight this. Uh, we will be doing a video later, um, but looking at the front here, this is one of the only bathers with the, with the front mount net wrap option. Uh, when you go to load a net wrap on, you just literally pull the net wrap out um, and then just slide the net wrap on. So uh, I think on the newer ones, they do have a, some kind of a, a lifter for the roll, so they're not so heavy. Uh, the other thing about that, um, we have an actual roll counter. They were the first ones, this little roll counter right here. Um, they were the first ones. So we actually, uh, we know exactly how many feet per bale of net wrap are going on. Uh, so we, we highlighted that in another, in another video. So um, just kind of a walk around around the baler. Um, we got our drive shaft coming out to the side and we got one chain going down to our pickup attachment, one chain going to our sledge frame and then the other one going up to our top drive roller. Coming around here behind our uh, twine box, we got the tension on the chain, okay? Um, this chain is a little bit heavier duty on the newer ones. And the big thing that's about this is uh, our sledge frame. So our sledge frame is gonna follow that bale all the way up to full bale size um, to consistently offer a tighter bale with that as well. That is the pivot point here. So it is greasable, but that is the pivot point um, that will have a little wear after um, 10, 20,000 bales on it. Uh, the other one, the big one is our, up on top here, is our, uh, uh, which one I'm trying to say, uh, D-clutch system. So as our tailgate opens, it's going to actually pull this chain back and it's going to actually declutch our entire drive roller. So there is only one drive roller for the belts up here, whereas almost every other bather has got two. Uh, so that makes it a little nicer if that one needs to be replaced, it doesn't get as expensive. Um, but that is the declutch system. So when our, when our tailgate starts to eject, they actually stop the belts first. Our belts never lose tension. Uh, over here, we come down through a series of chains. There are a few more chains on this one than the other bathers. Uh, just on this side, we got five, one, two, three, four, and then five on the bottom. So a uh, little more stuff to check when we're doing inspections and stuff too, but uh, for the most part, it's gonna be fairly easy. Uh, this would be the grease bank if it was the premium, so the New Holland version of this. Uh, is going to be the, the more premium version with the full grease bank on the side. That's really about the only difference. Coming around, just looking inside our baler here, we have our starter roll, our floor, floor roll right here. Um, we do have a rotary stuffer that's way up in front, so it's a nice even crop flow. Um, our floor roll is quite a bit higher than any other baler on the market. Uh, those are all a little bit lower. Um, so our sledge frame consists of these three rollers and then a top roller uh, carrying the belts right here. So that, uh, that's going to be moving all the time. Um, this is actually our bale shape sensor, so it's literally just a piece of metal here pushing that potentiometer in to show our shape of our bale. So instead of wa watching belt tension, they're actually feeling the, the bale itself, So, which is kind of unique. Our bale ramp is just spring loaded. So that's going to eject and when that bale rolls off, it's just going to lift up and our bale will not be able to come past this. Uh, we got a big tension spring right here for our belt tension as well. Then the other thing, the one thing I would like to highlight here is if we were needing to, to change the belts, um, we would uh, literally just take this rod and push it up and turn it and that's going to actually move a pin. You guys will see that in the service manual. That's going to hold the pin out and that's going to basically keep the belt tension off as our door closes. So uh, that's how we're going to get the bales in or the belts in and out. Um, here is our tailgate latch. So it's literally directly connected to our cylinder. So as that cylinder fully compresses, 
and retracts, it's literally going to just pivot this down onto our onto our pivot pin. Um, so again, uh, if we had an SCV leaking, that would be the only time we'd really should be able to see that tailgate actually pop open um, prematurely. So other than that, um, over here. We do have one more, so we come off our starter roll and then we come up to our sledge roll drive up here. Uh, so we do have one more chain, so they do have a little more, um, little more complexity than some of the other bathers that we've looked at. Uh, this is our uh, controller, so this one is one of the first ones that was actually uh, had a controller on board, so the monitor was literally just a display and not the computer. Um, they have still done that. They're fully ISO on the new ones as well. So, and then we covered the net wrap actuator and then the twine actuator as well. So, should be good. And then just the front here, we got our pressure. Our this is actually our twine, showing where our twine arms are across. This is going to be cutting and then just our pickup attachment. Um, they have changed the pickup attachment to get a little bit wider yet um, on the newer ones. So 